almost everyone who's spoken here has asked you not to cover, cut one program or another. And I'll have to say there's a little bit of that in what I'm about to say, so I'm not that different. But I also have something else to say. I guess the question I have for you is if somebody offered you $40,000, would you decide not to take it? Because that's what's happening in Stonebridge. And it confuses me, I have to say. Because we have a special program at Stonebridge using the ITA or the initial teaching alphabet. And as you know, they offer us a grant every year of approximately somewhere around $40,000. As part, I don't know if this is really part of the budget process, but we're also, we're turning that away. Well, if you turn away $40,000 and then say we're gonna save $51,000, by changing the whole model, I don't see how that adds up. Now, we talk about what's special about Stonebridge, and when I see that kind of math, I think to myself, I don't think this is about money. I wonder if it's about getting rid of something, it's not the same. Stonebridge is a special place. All three of my kids, have been through there. My youngest is six. She's the one I'm worried about the most because she's the one that's going to live or be changed the most by what happens here today. My oldest uh, was in band. She loved it. My youngest is, uh, as I said, and then my middle child, Rowan, is, he needs that help. He needs those teacher's aides to help him to get through. He's a smart kid, but he needs to focus. <laughs> so I think that what I'm saying here is that the Stonebridge model isn't just a matter of saying, well, let's get rid of some teacher's aides and save $51,000. What I'm saying is if you include ITA as part of that equation, it's not nearly as reasonable as it appears here. If you also consider the colony model where they're combining two grades together, I mean, aside from the fact that it's just an awesome idea and that little kids, especially in Colony One, grow at different rates, learn things at different speeds, you got to consider that ITA helps them read in less than a year. I couldn't believe it when my kid went there and she learned how to read by March. She didn't read a line before she went. I know as a great parent, maybe I should have done better, but I'm not so bad anyway. But she made it. By March, she was reading complete sentences. By the end of the first kindergarten, she was reading chapter books. I couldn't believe it. Thank you. That kind of individualized attentions that you get from the paraprofessional model that's helped funded by the ITA, it means that they can combine those kids together in a unique and special way. Stonebridge is unlike any place I've ever seen. And to me, it's precious. I don't think what we're doing here is saving money. I think what we're doing is, is pounding down the nail that's sticking up. I think what we're doing here is making something special just like everything else. And all I can say is let's not do that, especially if it doesn't save any money. I guess in closing, what I wanna say is, you know, I came up here to say the, you know, the, the cool thing about money but I, honestly, I, I love Stonebridge and I want it to stay the way it is because it's helped all three of my kids. And I don't think it needs to change to save money because I don't think it would. And that, that, that's not even to include the amount of construction that would need to happen to make Colony One into a normal quote unquote school where all the teachers have to teach 30 odd kids by themselves with no aids. I don't think it makes sense. I appreciate your, uh, your consideration. Thank you, Bruce. Any other? Uh